welcome back to my channel. My name is Tori. Today's video is going to be my summer 4th of July decorate with me. I'm going to be adding some patriotic decor to my kitchen and also my dining room. And I, along the way, I'm going to be giving you guys some tips and tricks that you can use in your own home to decorate and use decor that is not only functional, but also budget friendly. So if you guys like videos like that, I would love it if you would hit that subscribe button if you are not already. And if you enjoy this video, I would love it if you would give me a thumbs up. This really helps boost my channel and I appreciate it so much. But yeah, I'm really excited to show you guys my decor. It turned out so good and I love it so much. So I really hope you enjoy. Thank you so much for watching. Now let's get to decorating. So I have went ahead and laid out all of the things that I'm going to be using to decorate the kitchen. I will be honest with you, I've already kind of started playing around with some decor and this is what I know I'm going to be using. I may swap things around or switch things out, but this is definitely what I'm going to be using, um, you know, maybe minus a couple of little things if I do make some changes. But again, I just wanted to show you guys some really good, practical and simple budget-friendly ways to decorate your home for summer or patriotic decor, 4th of July, but really these rules apply to any holiday. But I'm so excited to get started decorating and show you guys the kitchen whenever it's done. This is as good a day as any To start the rebuilding of life The roads that lay open are many When the old one's gone under the knife And I can feel the sun on my skin this side of my kitchen is done and I wanted to just point out a couple of things that make this very functional but also budget friendly and just an affordable beautiful way to decorate for summer or 4th of July or really like I said you could do this for any holiday or season just you know kind of change up what you're doing but over here I have this beautiful Lazy Susan I found this at TJ Maxx a while ago and I just put this little sort of DIY little tray. I got it on Amazon. It was originally black and I say sort of DIY because I did Robin Buffett gold because I wanted a gold one and that holds my garlic and I have my oil and vinegar. The oil we use all the time. The vinegar we use sometimes but still very functional and then I have my beautiful ginger jar here to bring in the blues and also just bring in some more pattern and then here we have kitchen towels which are such a good easy affordable <laughs> affordable way to decorate for the holidays. You can find kitchen towels literally anywhere that sells home decor.
decor or you could even find them at Target, Walmart, places like that. But they're just such a great affordable way to decorate and they just look so beautiful. And then next I have some more functional but decorative items. And the only thing I really did here that was decorative was I did add this American flag. Um, we don't actually use these utensils. They are just for decoration, but I, I keep all my plastic or ceramic, not ceramic. <laughs> what, what material is that? Anyways, I keep the like plastic type ones um, in a drawer and I have this beautiful tray. And then these, we don't actually use these, but you can get some that you can use. These are just some vintage ones that I found on eBay for $50 for the set, which is such a good deal. And then the knives get used on a daily basis. We're actually missing two of them because they're in the dishwasher. But again, just some beautiful and easy, practical decorating ideas. corner in my kitchen I kept it really simple and y'all this was probably like the easiest budget friendly thing that I could have done so you did notice that this is a broken candle but I kind of have it just resting there because I don't have any more of these red candles so unfortunately I did buy a broken one but I got these candlestick holders on clearance at Hobby Lobby I found the frame at Home Goods for $9.99 I could not believe how high end this thing is for 10 bucks and it's matted it's so beautiful and then i have my lamp from target i got the lamp and the shade at target and then this print is just an etsy print i spent six dollars and i got a whole bunch of prints you'll see some more later on in this video but i'll also have those prints linked if you guys are interested in purchasing them but it was literally less than six dollars for all of those prints which is also sort of like our breakfast bar. We make our toast and our coffee here. I don't normally decorate this space anymore. I used to go all out, but I decided I wanted to do another little vignette for the summertime. And this one is also functional. And I just used pieces I already had. I got this tray at Hobby Lobby. It was very cheap. It's actually in the wall decor. Um, it's labeled wall decor. <laughs> so I got it half off. I found this scallop bowl at TJ Maxx a while ago for 20 bucks. I got that at Target around Christmas time. I believe it was about 20 bucks. I got this vase on clearance at Kirkland's for $15. And I've got some beautiful Cosmo stems from Hobby Lobby that I did get when they 
back when they used to offer 50% off of their florals, I did get these 50% off. I tried to face the flowers forward so you could see them better. Um, I missed a couple of them, obviously. <laughs> um, but I like how they look just like wild. Like I know some other people have mentioned this, but they kind of just look like you went out to, you know, outside and just gathered them and picked them and they look very wild and organic. But I just popped a really cheap little Hobby Lobby American flag. You can get these everywhere, like this time of year, probably even year round. Um, um, but at Hobby Lobby right now, these are a four pack for $2.99 and then they are 40% off. So this is just some super simple coffee bar styling. We got time on our side. We're in a state of home. I need you on my fire. I want you to know that every time you're away, I long for you so much I can find my way These floral stems were actually kind of a last minute find at Home Goods. Me and Lewis were there the other day and we saw them in the checkout and I just had to have them. So I'm going to be shoving down some Walmart bags in this vase to give it a little bit of height because they went down in the vase a little bit too far and I wanted them to stick up a little bit higher, but it just took a little bit of fluffing and they turned out so, so beautiful. These are just some hydrangea stems from Hobby Lobby and I just stuffed those down in there to give it a little bit more fullness and it just turned out so beautiful. I love how I mixed the blue and the white. Eventually I was able to just mix them together and make them look really good. I'm, I'm just in love with this arrangement. We got time on our side. We're in a state of hope. I need you on my fire. These stems are also from Hobby Lobby and they were actually really long and I did cut them, but they are just from the regular Hobby Lobby floral aisle and they're just some light blue um, with the green stem and I just love the way those look in my little Minka pot. And the truth may come as a Um, I'm a little bit obsessed. <laughs> I love it. I actually decided to take the napkins away because I like it more simple without them. But I definitely have to give credit to Brittany Blaine for this idea because originally I was just going to stick the little American flags on there. Let me show you. So initially this was what I wanted to do was just to take a simple and you could do this. This is so simple and beautiful. So here's option A and option B, which I love both of them, and they're both very budget friendly, but I saw these little plates whenever I was at Hobby Lobby um, doing my patriotic shop with me, and I really wanted them. I had no idea what to use them for, and I was watching Brittany Blaine, which is one of my sweetest friends. If y'all don't know who she is, which I'm sure most of you do, but if you don't, definitely check out her channel. I will have it linked, but I was watching her decorating video, and she did a tablescape and had these same little plates I do believe they were the same little plates and she set them just right here. So simple. And how cute is that? Isn't that adorable? I love the way that turned out and I am just in love with this bouquet. I've had this vase for a while. It's from Hobby Lobby. I did get it 50% off um, a year or two ago. Uh, I think they still have it, but this looks gorgeous. I love, some people might say it looks like too much, but I really just love the tray being full of the vases and the ginger jar and all the things. 
And yeah, I'm really in love with the way that my decor came out for this year. I think it is so beautiful and so simple. And of course, it is on a budget. I really didn't spend that much money to make it feel very patriotic in here, but that is going to be it for the kitchen. But now we are going to move on to the dining room, but I am so in love. You'll have to let me know what you think about how the kitchen turned out. I just think those little plates just make it, don't they? Like, oh, do you think I should add some more American flags to that bouquet or do you think one is fine? I really like it with one. I like the simplicity, but I've seen people who use like several of them like sticking out different sides of it but I really just kind of like the simplicity of the one single flag before I move on to the dining room I'm taking a little snack break and Lewis ran to the store and got me some of these I told him to surprise me and literally these just remind me of summertime when I was a kid if you know you know like I'm just taking my little snack break eat a couple of little cow tails they're so good I'm not big into makeup, but I really wanted to mention this mascara that I have on today. It's the Maybelline Sky High uh, Lash Sensation, but y'all, I have two layers on, and I do not have long lashes at all. It just looks so good. I started by just laying out everything that I know I wanted to use for decorating the hutch and then I will style the table when I'm done with that but I went ahead and just laid out all the pieces and I'm so excited everything just looks so beautiful together like I said I've already played with everything because if I didn't this video would be like three hours long or maybe even longer but again these are just those Etsy prints so this is actually one print right here and this is another print so it's one single print and I took half for this frame and half half for this one and same with this I took half for this frame and half for that one because I'll be honest with y'all I literally printed it on computer paper with regular ink I don't go to Walgreens and get fancy with it and to me it looks fine like it does not look bad I mean it, it it's up to you if that's how you want to do it but to me that's what works for me and I like it so and this also fell off of a wreath that I have so I'm going to use it on the hutch just to add in a little bit more um florals and hydrangeas and then that was from a thrifted little pot I had I pulled the greenery out of it so I'm going to try to use it and yeah so let's decorate the hutch and then we'll do the tablescape <laughs> Look out, here she comes The woman that I love It's too bad she'll never know Yeah, I can't tell her how I feel Because she has someone who makes her happy I'm a ghost in these walls Or at least I try to be I hope that I'm not showing how I feel for her But she won't feel the same for me I've got this picture in my mind It's just the two of us Just the two of us But I know I have to try Try to let her go so one way that I like to decorate is start with all the big pieces that are kind of like your, you know, bigger statement items that, you know, kind of balance it out. And so start there and then I'll start adding in all the patriotic decor and all of the smaller things. But that's one way that I like to decorate is just to kind of start with the big pieces and that makes it so much easier to add in the patriotic touch. But I know I have to try Try to let her go Because she won't be mine I listen when she talks I watch her when she walks She's giving me these feelings that I've never felt before But she will never know That I love her so well She's with somebody else and I will have to let her go 
sheep will never know, na na. Never know, na na. Sheep will never know, na na. Never know, na na. She'll never know. It's like she stole my heart. Without knowing she did But I guess that it will pass Yeah, I can't be the only one Who got lost inside the blue of those eyes I've gotta let her go I know it won't be easy I wanna hold her close But I have to try Try as hard as I can Cause she'll never be mine I listen when she talks I watch her when she walks She's giving me these feelings that I've never felt before And she will never know That I love her so She's with somebody else and I will have to let her go is looking let me know what you guys think it is actually a little bit different than when I played around with it I did switch some things around than what it looked like before but I really love the way it turned out this was so like easy and budget friendly I actually sent pictures if y'all watch Julianne Nicole she's like my best friend we text all the time and I had sent her pictures of my hutch decorating and I said please tell me how I can add some patriotic like red and then um she said yeah you definitely need some like pops of red and patriotic so that is when I went on Etsy and I got those prints and I took some of my American flags and just started because originally it was was like mine uh, pictured this minus like all of the red so it was basically like this but with no red no flags it was very like it was beautiful but it was not patriotic like at all and I didn't have the frames up here so I was like let me find some prints and I wanted fireworks and flowers and flags and I think these are just the perfect prints and then I added the American flags. I added these dish towels that are from Hobby Lobby. So cheap and simple and easy. And just adding those few touches in really made it beautiful for summer and 4th of July. I'm literally in love with that hydrangea picture up there. I got it for Mother's Day from my husband and my kids from Target. But it is like one of my favorite things up here. And this is just so beautiful. The only thing that's like bothering me a little bit is like how this is hanging off. Like, I wish the stars were, like, that, like, a little bit more. But I tried to get it to do that, and it's, like, the way I have it facing. Maybe if I switch this one to that. Let me try that. I think I like the other way better, but I just didn't want the towels facing the same exact direction, if that makes sense. But I actually think I like them the way I had them originally better. But let me know what you guys think about this. So I'm going to do the table really quick, and then that is going to wrap up today's video. Okay, this is a little bit different too. I put the birds on this side. So let me know which one you like the best. I think so far this is my favorite. I just feel like this is so simple. Like it added that patriotic touch. Literally all I did was add some flags that were literally a couple of dollars, some prints that were a couple of dollars, and these dish towels that were also a couple of dollars. And it made the biggest difference. But I'm going to do the table really quick and then that'll be the end of my decorating video. <laughs> In my mind There is nothing left to do But stay behind Well I find What is wrong about the way I treat my kind Where's the love I was promised as a token promise
like a maximalist decorating for sure and let me know but I'm kind of feeling like maybe this is a little too much but I thought these were cute ideas I originally was gonna do um, just the flag on here and then I got the napkins and I was thinking about doing the napkins like that and then just like that as you know just the simple napkin and then you know I wanted to do the little plates and then I also was gonna put our dinner glasses up here but I think it would look way too crowded. I already kind of feel like it might look a little crowded, a little busy, but let me know what you think. It is all, you know, our just everyday dinnerware and our everyday silverware. It's nothing like, dec nothing like um, decorative except the napkin rings and the flags. And of course, like the middle of the table is decorative and the placemats are decorative, but, um, <laughs> And this is decorative too. So I guess like, yeah, it's a lot of decorative stuff, but for like everyday use, all I have to do is move this and probably just set these aside. But then we can use these napkins. We use the plates and we use the silverware. So, you know, it's very functional and I think it looks really good. But again, I do think it looks a little crowded. So let me know what you think. You won't hurt my feelings. Just don't be mean. <laughs> um, but be, you know, be, be gentle on me. I just think it does look a little bit crowded, but I do love the way it turned out as well as everything else. I love the way every, hey there, <laughs> my little helper. Um, see, I have the glasses over there because I was going to use the glasses on here and I decided not to actually my husband had the idea let me show y'all he said to take these little things so set these back up here and take these and use them as little coasters <laughs> that's what my husband said to do he said that was cute and I, I do agree it is cute uh, but I really just love these as like little the little tiny plates so I don't know let me know what y'all think I ended up taking the napkins away on the island because it definitely looked a little crowded and I definitely want it to be a functional space, but that's what it looks like with the dinner glasses. And I could even put our little scalloped coasters up here, our little scalloped coasters, so that we can have the full set up. <laughs> Just let me know what you think. I think it turned out really, really cute, but I think that is going to wrap up this decorating. But I love the way everything turned out, and I actually didn't have to steal anything uh, from anywhere. So that's nice. I didn't have to steal any decor to decorate another space for this for this decorating video. Um, I don't know. Let me know what y'all think. <laughs> I think I am going to take the dinner glasses away. But again, just let me know what y'all think. So that's going to be it for my summer 2024 decorate with me. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it gave you some inspiration or also maybe you learn some ways to decorate on a budget and use the core pieces that are practical and functional for you and your family. If you love decorating as much as I do, but also love function, then I really hope this video was helpful for you. And yeah, I really hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for being here and thank you so much for watching.